HP responded rejecting the bid, but didn't close the door entirely. What does HP want here? Exactly. It's not a surprise that HP didn't accept this first written offer from Xerox. HP is about three times the size of Xerox, so it's going to take a lot to really get them to the table. But these are companies that know each other well. HP mentioned, though, that Xerox's business is in decline, and they noted that there'd be a lot of debt should these companies merge. So that's one concern that HP has. They really want to take a look at Xerox's books, and that's something that Xerox also wants. Both sides really do want to do due diligence, but something seems to be holding them up. So it seems like HP is turning the books around on Xerox. Is this potentially what Xerox wanted in the first place? We've reported that HP could be interested in acquiring Xerox. Both companies have been looking at different ways for this merger to work. In the written offer from a few weeks ago, Xerox was offering a structure where HP would be the minority shareholder, so Xerox would officially be the acquirer, but definitely HP is also considering looking at Xerox as a target. Are photocopiers and printers suddenly a great business? Why do the two want to combine so badly? It's actually the opposite. It's a tough time for printers and copiers. The margins are good, but environmentally friendly methods make printing a bit of a taboo, and these companies could save a lot of money through cost cuts should they decide to merge. Printing has fallen out of fashion, but these are still really good companies in terms of throwing off a lot of cash flow. And the investor bases of both seem to like the idea of a merger, and there may even be some overlap in both of the company's shareholder bases. Now, we know that Carl Icahn has been involved with Xerox for years. He's been very vocal, but what we learned last week was that he added to HP and has a sizable enough stake in HP now, according to the 13F. Does that indicate that this will happen at some point? Both companies seem to be looking towards Carl Icahn as sort of the broker here. What's certain is that he often brokers a really good deal for himself. So we'll see what a merger could look like. But he does have a $1.2 billion stake in Xerox. And he is a, uh, sorry, he owns 10.96% of Xerox and a $1.2 billion stake in HP. So he has a lot riding on this. His view on what this merger should look like will be key. So far, he said in interviews that he just thinks it's a no-brainer for the company to merge, but he hasn't really said whether he cares or not who controls the companies. Would Xerox have a red line beyond which it wouldn't cross? So, for example, management or board seats or, you know, layoffs or, or units getting shafted or shunted away. Is there anything that Xerox wouldn't agree to? We aren't really sure at this point. Um, John Vicentin, a former private equity executive who runs Xerox, we assume that Carl Icahn would want him to run the combined company, but we've also heard maybe they're agnostic at who runs the company. So what we know for sure is that it makes sense for both companies to merge, but it's not clear whether management is a sticking point.